Hello, welcome back to Algebra. Uh, here we're going to continue learning how to add and subtract like terms, but the problems will be a little more complicated. They're not hard, it's just that you're, you're using things that you've learned in the last sections and combining it with stuff from that we've learned in recent sections. So here, for instance, what if we have 9 times n minus 3 uh, plus 4n? How do we simplify that as much as we can? Well, we can't do the n minus 3. These are unlike terms, so we can't really do that, but we can distribute the 9n to every term there. So 9 times n is going to be 9n. The minus sign comes along for the ride, and then you have 9 times 3 here. 9 times 3, we're going to write it as 9 times 3. And then the plus 4n comes along for the ride there. So how do we continue? Well, the 9 times 3, let's just do that. So we'll have 9n. 9 times 3 is 27. So all I'm doing is that multiplication plus 4n. Now look at this. Which are the like terms? Here we have 9n's. Here we have 4n's. So the variables match, so we can actually add those. It's positive and positive, so it's going to be really easy. 9 plus 4 is 13 n's. So you have to carry that in along for the ride. And then the minus 27, the minus sign comes from here. The 27 goes there. That's the final answer. Can you do any more with this? No, you can't, because here we have an n. Here we don't have an n. So those are unlike terms here in the answer. We can't do anything further with them. All right, so that was kind of a warm-up problem. Uh, this one will be a little bit longer. What if we have 9, a plus b inside the parentheses, and then we have plus 4, and then here we have 3a uh, plus 2b. Now, what do we do? Again, uh, we can't really add a plus b. Those are unlike terms. We can't really add 3a plus 2b. Those are unlike terms. But we can distribute the 9 in, and we can distribute the 4 in. So let's go ahead and do that. 9 distributed in is going to